welcome to my first maths video on YouTube which is about differentiation so in basic mathematics we use differentiation to find the gradient of a curve if you remember to basic maths where we used to have just a line not a curve we used to have y equals mx plus c where m would have been the gradient but if you have a complex curve you can't just find the gradient like that it's not as simple so therefore we use differentiation and the most basic notation of differentiation is dy by dx now dy by dx represents the gradient of a curve yeah sorry for the messy handwriting so if you if i start to derive how differentiation works it can take forever so i'm just going to go straight into a basic formula and explain how it works that way and i'll give you a few examples so let's say if we have a curve which is y equals k x to the n where k is just a number and n is the power this way when you find dy by dx what you do is you multiply the power by the x and the number next to it so it would become n times k x to the n minus 1 so you subtract 1 from the power you always have to do this so differentiating is just k n x to the n minus 1 that's all it is that's how simple it is you apply this technique to everything I'll give you an example so let me give you a first a really easy example so let's say example 1 So say if we had a curve y equals 2x squared. Now first we need to, well all we need to do is apply the formula to be honest. So dy by dx equals, we need to multiply by the power. So it will become 2 times 2x and we need to subtract 1 for from the power so it become 2 minus 1 so dy d dy by dx simplifying it it becomes 4x to the 1 which is just the same as 4x so it's actually as simple as that what I've done is I've multiplied the power next to the 2 here and subtracted one from the power now if you look at a slightly more difficult example so let's say we have a complex curve which is y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 7 now you must be already thinking that wow this looks really difficult but it actually doesn't so all you need to do is look at all three parts individually because you're just adding them if you were subtracting them it would have been the same you just look at them individually and apply this method to it so now dy by dx equals we multiply by 2 the power 2 times 3x to the n minus 1 so 2 minus 1 which is let me just write it like this first plus 2x now what do we do to the 2x now you need to look carefully we have 2x to the 1 technically but we don't write the 1 normally 
so now it just becomes we multiply by the one which is just two so two x to the one minus one and now there's a seven there's no x next to it but if we had x to the zero next to it x to the zero is just one right so seven is the same as seven x to the zero so what happens if you bring the power and multiply it here so anything times zero is just zero so this part just becomes simply zero let me just speak over it again having seven is the same as having seven x to the zero because x to the zero just equals one so if you multiply this power by seven here using the formula it just becomes zero now if we simplify this different differentiation out you get 2 times 3 which is 6 x to the 1 which will just be 6x and then plus 2x to the 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 as I said earlier anything to the power of 0 is just 1 so this just becomes 2 so now we have 6x plus 2 so if y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 7 then dy by dx equals 6x plus 2 so in an exam they might be tricky and they would say to you they would say to you here's the equation of a curve find the gradient of the curve at a particular point so for example they might just say find the gradient of this curve when x equals 2 now all we simply need to do is find dy by dx which equals 6x plus 2 and we need to substitute the 2 into it so when x equals 2 dy by dx equals 6 multiplied by 2 plus 2 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 and plus 2 makes it 14 so it just equals 14 okay so thank you very much for watching my first video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and like the video and please leave comments for feedback thank you